congrats on your new TENS unit. To start with, if the unit is wrapped in plastic, you will take it out of the plastic. And if there are any small pieces of tape around the edges, you'll have to undo the tape. There we are. Now we can open up the unit and see what's inside. Most units will come with a quick start manual, some important safety precautions, some electrodes, and a full introductory manual. The electrodes the unit comes with are one by one, which are appropriate for tibial nerve stimulation, but you'll need larger ones if you're going to do this for urinary urgency, frequency, or muscular strength. You, typically the units will come with a 9 volt battery that is often covered in plastic so you'll have to unwrap that and then when, when that is unwrapped you can go ahead and place it into the TENS unit like so, clickety click, bloop, and then return the cover to the bottom of the TENS unit. Voila! Flipping it over, we see there are two ports for electrodes to go in. We will use one channel here today, and we will plug that into the channel one. You do have the opportunity in the future to use two channels and four electrodes if you so desire. I turn the clicker up just to turn power on, and I plug the thing into the channel one, and I open the middle door to see the settings. Now, if I hit mode, it will take me from burst to normal to modulation to SD1 and SD2. Burst is for periods of extreme pain. So we're going to hit mode one more time to bring us over to normal mode, which is where we will spend most of our time. Now, if I hit set again, it will allow me to change the pulse width one more time. It will allow me to change the pulse rate, and a third time will allow me to change the time. But what settings to use is the question. For most of us, we are going to change our pulse width to between 175 and 200 microseconds. So here I'm adjusting that. Ding, ding, voila. You could see the lower end at 170, and then here I bring it up to 200. Yay! Now the pulse rate has a little bit more variability. If we are primarily using this for urinary urgency, we are going to be setting the pulse rate to 10 to 12 hertz. And on this unit there's the 10 and then there's the 12. If we're using this for incontinence, 20 hertz is recommended, 30 minutes a day for 90 days, and that 20 hertz was better than 75 hertz in the literature. For general pelvic floor strengthening, if you're one of the few individuals that actually has a low tone pelvic floor, 50 hertz is the best. And for pelvic pain, including chronic pain due to prostatitis, anywhere between 75 and 100 hertz is our ideal target. Pretty neat, huh? We then need to open our electrodes and connect them. So if we are doing some for overactive bladder, we're going to use the larger electrodes and you're going to plug, oh, well, you're going to open them first, I suppose. Yes, make sure they are always new. <laughs> um, and then once you open these and they're yours, they should last you for one to three months before you need new ones. Um, and connect one of the electrodes to each side. It does not matter which one goes into which, red or black the same. Voila! If we're doing transcutaneous tibial nerve stimulation, we will be using the smaller electrodes, and it's the exact same, uh, only you only use two of the electrodes uh, rather than four included. So pick your favorite two, plug the red into one, black into the other. Make sure your skin is drying without lotions. Um, if you have a lot of oily skin or lotion on, these will lose their stick earlier. Uh, than otherwise. So clean, dry skin. And there you go with the smaller electrode. For the super, supra pubic tens, you will sit yourself in a comfortable position and you will be applying these underneath your clothes and your underwear. You are going to uncross your legs and you are going to feel on your bottom of your cute little belly for your pubic bone and you're going to come just above that pubic bone. The pubic bone will feel like a little cliff that we then fall off of and that's where we want to put the TENS pads is just on that nice soft tissue on the lowest abdomen. You'll see I put one here on the right side and one on my left. Again here I'm demonstrating to you over my pants but when you're doing this at home you're going to do it right on your skin so we might need to shave a little bit if needed. 
Once they're in place, we increase the intensity to a medium but entirely comfortable setting, and we let it run for 20 to 30 minutes. And while daily use is recommended in the studies, I have found significant benefits in as little as one to three times a week for 12 weeks. Yay! If you're doing the transcutaneous tibial nerve stimulation, you're going to first find your little ankle bone there, and you're going to come just behind it and just above it with one of those small electrodes. It doesn't matter if it's black or red. Then most studies say you measure a point 10 centimeters above that first electrode for you to stimulate. So here I am measuring, and then we will put that little electrode on there. Voila! However, other studies do show that in addition to that first probe or that first electrode, you put the second one in the middle of your foot, slightly towards the arch. Pick one based on the direction of your primary provider. And finally, whichever mode we're using, we turn that electrode up to a medium strong intensity that is completely comfortable and is not making any muscles twitch. As far as recommended frequency, some studies are as aggressive as daily for 90 days. However, clinically, I've seen significant improvement in as little as one to three times a week for up to three months.